Hello, it's Bob Cook here and I'm the Principal Founder of the Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy and I want to introduce you to Karen Burke. Karen works here as a psychotherapist, she's a trainer and a supervisor and she runs a very popular five-day course here on loss and bereavement. In fact, it carries a certificate. Um, it's over four months. Uh, 10 o'clock till 5 o'clock and I thought I'd like to just go over with her what she actually does on this um, wonderful certificate so you can get an idea. So hello Karen. Hello there Bob. Nice to meet you. Um, so for the viewers sake uh, could you tell me a little bit about this course and what you do on the course and who would be interested in coming on the course? You know who's the course actually aimed at? Thank you. Um, the certificate course in loss and bereavement is aimed at a variety of professionals. Um, obviously, counsellors, psychotherapists, um, and people who work in an area where there will be loss and bereavement. So, um, past participants in the course have been above and beyond the um, counselling and psychotherapy uh, practitioners. I've had people who have worked in hospices oh. and who don't counsel people mm. and would like to understand more about the process of loss. I think the other thing to remember is that if I think about all of the clients that I have seen over the years of practice, mm. all of them come with a form of loss. Okay. So although this um, this course is primarily, and, it, and it's obvious to consider mm. that this is about <coughs> people who have died. Yeah. However, there are other losses that we have in of our lives, and other course. losses that our clients will have experienced mm. in their life. Mm. And um, so I like to think that it gives a good grounding. For all practice, it doesn't okay. mean that you are working with either the bereaved mm. or the terminally ill, for mm. example. No, that's true, because of course, it's, you know, we're talking about trauma here. Absolutely, so absolutely. How about you just go through the different days, I think it's five days, isn't it? it just is. tell me what you focus on each of those days, so, you you know, the viewers can get a sort of yeah, idea an of idea. what you teach, yeah. I think the first thing I'd like to say is that we break up each day yeah. so that it's not just all hard work theory. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> yeah, 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 I don't work like that. Oh, good. So, um, what there is, is there's um, a real cohesion as far as the group is concerned. Because, wow. uh, mm. you know, and I also try to reiterate, because we all as adults will have experienced mm. some form of loss um, that people need to look after themselves and that may be by gaining support from the group so it needs to be a cohesive group oh, okay. there are theory yeah. however it's also very very experiential oh, okay. so there's the academic <coughs> side and the experiential right side. do they have to do essays or anything like that um at the end on the final mm. module do, yeah. Um, what, uh, round about module three, mm -hmm. um, we'll have already looked at different types and different things as far as loss and bereavement is concerned. Mm -hmm. okay. And what I ask is that on the final module, mm -hmm. each participant does a 15 to 20 minute presentation to oh. their peers yeah. on an area of bereavement that is of either of interest to them or wasn't known to them. Oh, how interesting. So an example would be someone gave a presentation on um, how people of the Jewish faith oh. would, um, uh, their rituals as far as bereavement was mm -hmm. concerned, someone else from a Buddhist point of view, mm -hmm. um, and also culturally we've had presentations on how people in Germany, which is very different from anybody else in Europe, <laughs> uh, as far as their rituals are concerned. Mm -hmm. um, 
So you asked me the question as far as the five modules. So on the first module, we look at various theories okay. because there are many theories right. as far as bereavement are concerned. Okay. On the second module, we look at what we call complicated bereavement. Oh, that's interesting. And we'll also look then at the differences between bereavement styles and actually complicated mm. bereavement. Mm. How interesting that is. On module three, um, we look at specific types of loss. So, mm. for example, um, there is the suicide, death of children. Um, mm. And um, because each of those will have certain characteristics as far as loss yeah. is concerned, yeah. and there's various topics within yeah. that day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then... Um, the whole of the fourth module is actually working with children who have been bereaved. Oh, so specifically to children. That's right. Mm. And then on module five, as I explained, yeah, it's, it's, it's our final day. Mm. So obviously there's an ending as far as the group is mm. concerned. Mm. We've been together for four months. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. they'll get to know each other as a mm. group and individually through the triad work we yeah. do. Yeah. The experiential, when they're sharing with others. Mm. Um, on each of the modules, I will generally uh, do a piece in the middle of the room of with what? Um, regarding the bereavement, piece of therapy, a piece of therapy. A model of that's life. right, okay. yes, for, that's pertinent to the theoretical work mm. that we've mm. done that day. Yeah. So um, I like to think I'm reasonably flexible. Great. So if uh, the participants would want me to do something. Um, particularly around mm. one area, then you know I'm quite happy, uh, as well Great. as looking at sort of what's set to yeah. yes. So after you've done the presentation and uh, uh, that's worked out okay, they then get their certificate, which is awarded by the institute. Absolutely, Great. it is. Yes. One other question I, I was thinking while you were talking is: I know you're a Gestalt trainer supervisor. I am. So is uh, is one of the criteria? Uh, to come on this course, is it sort of module specific? In other words, do you have to know about Gestalt or transaction analysis? Absolutely, yeah. Thank you, you have for to know about something, that. or no? Absolutely oh, right. not. Okay. Absolutely not, because in the same way as my supervision, um, I, you know, I, I supervise people of all different modalities. Mm. Supervision mm. isn't mm. M modality specific. It may no, be for no. trainees, and then. Once people yeah. are qualified, they yeah. often prefer, to, you know, like to find out mm. more about mm. different models. So um, it's a really good question. In the mm. same way that the course is open to people who are not, not yeah. you know, yeah. Um, yeah. either yeah. counselling or yeah. therapy qualified. Yeah. Um, so not there okay. is no specific okay. model. Okay, that's fabulous. Well, it sounds like a really, um, really interesting model and. Uh, um, thank you for talking about uh, the experience of the course, and um, I was just thinking, he was talking, uh, maybe I'll come on it one day, because of course we, you know, I've had eyes, everybody else has had a loss, so it sounds mm -hmm. a wonderful enriching course, so thank you. Thank you very much, Bob. And thank you for listening, and I hope this uh, conversation about the loss and bereavement certificate course here has been useful to you. Bye-bye. Bye for now.